Hi YouTube. Another day, another patch. How many days in a row can I am I gonna be able to say that? We actually got another patch right after the last one from last night. So uh, you know the drill, we're gonna be reading it. We're gonna be checking out what this is all about. I don't know how DK is doing this so fast, but uh, let's see. We're gonna hop over uh, here, let's go. Alrighty, this is probably gonna be here. Server version, I love that he says that's just the, the thing now as well. 0 0.25.1, so that's not a major update it seems, but let's see what it is about. Um, fixed a bug where the outside temperature was changing with the power, all right? We didn't notice that when we were doing our testing, but uh, nice that it's fixed. Fixed a bug where you could juice sanity pills infinitely when the truck was closed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we got busted. Our cheat has been patched. No, well, I'm, I, 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 uh, I'm fine with that. It was really cheesy. So okay, uh, I showed this in one of the videos, and it's uh, definitely not intended. All right, professional difficulty. Fixed a bug where the ghost room would sometimes start at maximum temperature. Interesting. I've never seen that, but already interesting. Here we go. Changes. Remove the temperature objective due to the temperature changes. Makes sense. Uh, it was basically just a freebie instant objective. Uh, this does reduce... To, we have lost dirty water and temperature. What, or what? We should have some new objectives. I hope this is going to make DK make some new objectives in the near future. Because I really think there's... Like, survive a hunt is a very basic one. Something like that could be fun. Um, let me know what you think as well. Uh, each room will now lower and raise their temperature at slightly different speeds. There you go. That's exactly okay. Well, I love how DK just whenever I I, I think we're just gonna have the videos run back because I can't I can't work this fast, man. We literally did an entire video today. This is gonna go up tomorrow. This video will already be out. So that video is basically already out of date before we even update this. Or. Uh, God dang it, DK. Why are you so fast? All right, three. Lower the speed that the temperature raises in rooms once the power is on. That is such... Oh my god, that's such a major change. Lower the speed that the ghost lowers the temperature in its own room. So, okay, this is interesting. This, to me, indicates that that was the int intention. The intention was to, like, properly nerf Thermo. Because, as we tested today, I don't think... I, I will do some more testing right after this patch, but as we tested today, the last patch was a major buff to temperature to, to the thermometer. You would find the room if you turn on the breaker, the room would show itself basically instantly. Uh, freezing ghost would make the room cold right away because it already starts at five degrees, so you would get minus temperatures instantly. And non, uh, in like thirty seconds, every other room besides the ghost room would be. Uh, plus 10 degrees already. So it didn't change anything. It only made freezing ghosts way easier. So besides the fact that you have to turn on the breaker, of course. So it seems to me that, that DK really wants to get rid of the, the thermometer. <laughs> I guess he really hates that item. <laughs> In, next patch. <laughs> Remove the thermometer item because I fucking hate it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Freezing temperature ghost will now reduce the room temperature at the same speed as other ghosts. This means that when the power is off, all rooms, including the ghost room, will drop at a similar speed. Okay. Wow, so even harder to find, yeah. Added a delay for closing the truck door once it has been opened to prevent trolling. Thank you. This has happened to me very at the very start when I first, I think this happened to me once or twice, where someone literally just locked the game forever and he just wanted me to wanted us to like leave so this is good thank you for removing the trolling all right this is just a right it's a patch no, it's basically an addendum to the the original patch so let's go over the original patch once again so we also have this one um basically the original the the patch that this is like an addition to uh it changed the room temperature at the start on professional difficulty to five degrees five degrees celsius and from that point, if the breaker was on, non-ghost rooms will climb their temperatures and ghost rooms will reduce their temperatures further. Or if it's a freezing ghost, it will go below uh, below three degrees. And otherwise, it will kind of stay around that low margin. Uh, now, today we tested this and it was basically a buff because of this. Uh, 
The thermometer refresh rate has been lowered from 3 seconds to 2 seconds, so it is much more reliable now, which I think this is the way to go. I don't think the way to go is to make the thermometer on its own an unreliable item, because that's really annoying. Uh, like, the day that I was using it with 3 seconds refresh rate, the, I just dropped the thermo completely, because it was so annoying to use. So I'm glad that they are going the route of making the game itself making the temperatures itself harder rather than just making the thermo an unreliable item because that's not great um so i don't know if this 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 legitimately feels because we were testing this i was i was like yeah this is a buff but everyone in the comment section of the last video was like no and then i and then i got confused but then from testing it today we found out that it was clearly a buff, and now they changed it. Now it's now it's clearly a nerf because now all the things that we found today have been changed. So I guess <laughs> I guess we're being good tonight. Thank you for the five kids. I guess we're being I don't know. I I like it though. I mean, I really like the active patches. I really like how involved it's all of a sudden. It's really interesting to see that all of a sudden we're getting patches like back to back to back. Uh, which is really cool. It's been, made it really exciting. Crystal Detonator, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting distracted by chat. Chat is going nuts. Woo! Anyway, um... So yeah, th this this is the main thing to take away. Uh, if you want to watch my opinion on this, uh, my first impressions on this, you can watch the last patch notes video where I basically called this a buff at the start. Uh, now, I did not take into consideration that there's a big variance on the temperature readings. That's a major thing here that you have to take into account. Uh, but the temperature raised so fast that after like 20 seconds, you would already have a very clear idea if you scan the room, if it was the ghost room or not. Which that seems that they want to take away. They want to make it slower that if you look at a room, you can't find the the temperature right away i think the intention of this patch here below this add addition to it is that now the ghost the temperature readings like a thermometer is only to confirm the ghost room it is not to find the ghost room or it is to find the ghost room after a while i think that is the goal because and overall i think that's a good change because if you have been playing this game without using your ears and listening to the ghost you have been playing it wrong. Like, when I walk around the house, I listen, mostly. I don't I don't focus purely on scanning. Scanning is like a loading bar that goes from 0% to 100% once you've checked the entire house and you, would have find, you will have found the ghost room in between there. Whereas the listening for footsteps, doors, uh, window knocks, uh, items being thrown, that is, like, gonna skip you ahead in your search process and find, like, an area where you have to like properly sweep around uh and i think that's really that's not really going to change i have to test this once again like i'm not gonna make too many assumptions now because last time we got into a bit of a dis uh, uh disagreement in the comments section on the video which i totally encourage any if you think otherwise please let me know uh, i don't want this to be like you just say what i say because that would be unhealthy uh overall I really like this original change. I've been talking about that. I really like the fact that it's no longer this binary, like, oh, it's less than 13 ghost room instantly. Uh, now you have to think more. Now they're trying to tur turn the thermometer into an item where you actually have to use your brain. You have to like, oh, is it colder than the room next to it? Let me check again. Seems to be. And then you all of a sudden get spooked in the face. Like it becomes more engaging that way. Whereas before it was just, oh, less than 13, done room found it easy peasy uh so i think it's cool i think overall these patches are good let me know what you think i know there's especially on like the larger maps like asylum high school prison where the breaker can be very much out of your way that is where this becomes kind of frustrating at some points if you have a ghost that really wants to turn the breaker off but overall i like this direction uh also for the fact that it's more immersive it is so much more immersive to get into a house that is completely abandoned, everything is cold, you have to, like, make your work area your own. You have to go in there, turn on the breaker, turn on all the lights, um, have it heat up, uh, get your equipment in there. Like, it's way more a ghost hunting game than if you get into a house... It, it was kind of weird before, where you got into a completely heated house with 
Uh, all the light switch is able to be accessed. The breaker just completely fine. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. It's That could be an addition as well. If at the start of the game, there are some random items and rooms get thrown around. I don't know. If he really wants to make it harder to find the room, that could be a thing as well. Uh, I don't know if that's the intention, though. To... But it seems to be... There is a massive movement against the Thermo. And I think overall, it's going to encourage more interesting gameplay. So I agree with it. But <laughs> there seems to be, like, he really wants the Thermo to not be the item you use to find the room, man. Like, it's like, all right, I get it, DK. You don't like the Thermo. I get it. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I love the frequent changes. I mean, I know it's it makes my life really hard as a content creator because every day I try to get a video out from the last day, but then it's already outdated. So, uh, but... Besides that, just that's purely selfish reason. I love well for selfish reasons. I also love it because the speed at, at, of updates have really revitalized any lost. Like this game is just so good. It's so much fun that this there's that there's so much active change. But yeah, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers over here, you can join us uh, at twitchtv insip every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. We are live. Uh, we are probably actually live once this video goes up, so be sure to check us out. Man, I love this. Sandra, thank you for the five gifts sub. Crystal Detonator, thank you for the five gifts sub. Guys, you're trying to make me off my- make me go off my script. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys. Let me know what you think. Let's- let's just- since he- DK seems to really be actively just like, even watching streams, uh, listening to the community let me know we can make a difference here we can make a positive change talk in the comments what you want to see uh and i'll see you at the live streams love you guys see you in the next video Bye bye